What's going on guys? So my name is Sami and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I study for my um, university exams that are coming up in a few weeks actually and how I balance gym with that and how I just I use how I use my workspace, my iPad, my MacBook and the apps that I use um, to get this done. So yeah. So the first thing I do is um, I'll open an app called Todoist and this is on my MacBook and it does sync very well with my iPad and my iPhone so I can keep track on it and I'll just write um, some to do's that I need to get done today. So here you can just see I'm making flashcards. Go over topic 102 of anatomy and go over yesterday's notes on the spinal cord um, and whatnot. Now when I am starting revision um, I use an app called Be Focused Pro um, or the free version. I think I did get the pro version just because it was on offer. But um, So on this app it just basically counts you down till um, your next upcoming break. Um, so I've got um, I think a 50 minute interval Right, so this is the Be Focus Pro um, interface kind of. So once you um, start your timer, so for example, if I'm starting this right now, this is actually my break timer. So if I cancel this and then start another 50 minute timer, um, it'll just count down. And so right now I've got it under the timer for it to go to anatomy because um, I'm studying anatomy right now. So if I, ch I can change that to side toe or each topic numbers to see how much time I'm actually spending on each topic. Now, if I press back and go to the settings tab, and press reports I can actually see um, a graph or a pie chart um, of how much hours I'm spending on what subject um, so if I change the period from today to yesterday for example as you can see yesterday I did a total duration of 4 hours and 35 minutes and the majority of it was anatomy so I spent 3 hours and 45 minutes on anatomy and um, well one um, block um, on cytology so if I change this again to this month for example as you can see I've only done 20 um, four hours let's call it and here you can see so I've done 30 worked intervals 15 skipped because um, sometimes if I've got about 10 15 minutes left I'll just press the skip button um, and move on to my next topic if I finished early so as you can see you get a nice little breakdown here so that much of it was anatomy that much was topic 102 cytology topic 108 and other which was 13 hours so other can just be um, any miscellaneous work or uh, random topics that I know are not going to take up too much time and um, so I can just throw them on the other and get my work done so in between the breaks that I have I'll sometimes usually just snack on some food or quickly go downstairs make a little milkshake or have a slice of toast or just make a sandwich or something like that and then get back to revision just to keep me fueled and um, because I am trying to bulk up as well in terms of gym wise so um, I do need to be eating enough calories because I usually hit the gym at a roughly about 9 p.m. every night um, and I'm lucky I've got a home gym as well so I don't really need to travel for that so I can just quickly then finish my work, get some food in, run downstairs, go to the gym for about an hour, hour and a half, come back, have a shower, eat and then get back to revision so no time is wasted. So the main app that I use on my iPad Pro 12.9 inch is GoodNotes 5. Now I have um, this app on my MacBook as well because it does sync very well so if I ever need um, to access my notes um, on my laptop then I can just open the app, um, download it from the App Store and everything on my iPad, that any work that I've done using the Apple Pencil or typing or anything, it will come straight up onto my onto my laptop and I can just access it from there and I can export it as a PDF if I wish um, or I can just read it just like that. So on a typical day I usually try to get uh, at least about six hours of revision in and it is quite hard. I do try to get more but sometimes I do be slacking. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. If you have any questions of any of the apps I use or on the iPad or anything, be sure to let me know in the comments. And um, yeah, I'll see you soon. Take care.